All right, guys, we will begin on our back to wake up, to warm up the body, and then we're gonna move farther. Monday, hard day. We got started right. All right, so let's begin on our back. Oh, all the way. Doesn't mean we're gonna stay here for long. So let's take our both arms side to side, guys. Press your feet into the floor and reach those hips all the way, nice and high and slow all the way for four counts up. And then slowly for four counts down, bar de bra by bar de bra. And let's continue to do that three more times. Reach up, nice and hips up all the way. Expand through the pelvic floor, connect through the glutes, take it all the way back down. Slow the exhalation, two more times guys. Reach all the way up. Breathe, activate the legs, start to wake up the back, and all the way slowly through, back down, let's do one more time, reach all the way up, bring the hips up, and take those arms all the way up, keep up the shoulders, hold it for four, connect through the glutes, three, two, and slowly, bar the breath by bar the breath, take your hips all the way back down, lift the arms, and come with me for four counts, nice and slow, until you touch the left on the side. Reach, and slowly, bar the breath by bar the breath back. We have three more. Reach, nice and slow, all the way. On exhalation, back down slowly, and with control, up slow. That's it, and hold the feet on the floor for now. We're just waking up the back, and one more time. We're going to hold it, guys. We're gonna hold it for four counts. Four, feet on the floor. Three, from the center. Hold it from the center. Chin, hold the chin. Take the feet all the way up. And take the palms right above the ground. Ready for the hundred. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three. Four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Stronger arms. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Stronger arms, guys, please. One, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Feet 90 degrees above the floor. And one, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. And one, two, three, four, five, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Shoulders on the floor. Feet up. And open them up all the way. Straight left. Take the arms on the side. Exhalation. Crease force. Open up. Squeeze the ankles and we have eight. Right above the hip. Seven. Right above the hip. Six. All the way. Five. Open wider. Four. Three. And two. And one. And draw those knees over the chin, chest or belly. Grab your ankles if you can reach them. And hold it for four. Four, three. Four, two. Extend your right leg. Hold your left. We hold for four. Four, three, four, two, extend your left, three, four, 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 three, lower back rounded, guys, two, and extend your right again, we hold for four, three, two, flex your feet on the right, we ready for the pops, one, two, brace from the center, three, four, and five, lower back on the ground, six, seven, and eight, the left side, hold the weight, you hold for four, lower back ground, then shoulders off the ground if you can, three, two, flex your feet, we ready for pump on the left, one, and two, pump from the center, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, knees over the chest, all the way through the movie, beautiful hug, push it all the way, hands, Push it forward the feet. Make sure the lower back is on the floor. If it's not, you have to take your feet higher and back. Point your 
toes, knees over the chest, push again, all the way, lower back on the floor, take it back, grab your ankles, one more time, push, on exhalation, lower back grounded, take it back, all the way, knees over the chest, chest their belly, push, we have four left, draw it back, push, lower back on the floor, draw it back guys, two times more, push, beautiful, take it back one more time, push, and shoulders back on the ground. We're going to take our arms all the way on the side and go ahead and swing. Your knees side to side, twist and pull. You don't have to go full, right? And we have six left, shoulder blade grounded, guys. Five. Open up even deeper, even wider. 
slider in the left your hip. Over to the left and extend your right diagonally even farther. That's 45 degrees on the right arm. Let's see. Back to the center. All the way. All right, guys, we're gonna start our ladder axis. We haven't done them for a long time, and then we're gonna move to the kneeling circles, uh, hip circles. So let's extend the arms and legs. This is your base position, right? This is position where you're going to return back. You're gonna pull the table in. When you open it up, you simultaneously open arm and leg for 45 degrees without changing the levelness of it and then you reach for it back. It's a very precise movement from the center core, arms and legs. Body moving as a unit, arms and legs following the center. Let's go do it. We have eight. Activate the arms and legs. Seven. Make them nice and long and strong. Six. Brace, guys. Five. Stability in the knee and the hand. Four. Point your feet. Point your toes. Point your fingertips. We have three. Extend the knees, guys, on extended leg. Knees active, knees active. I know. One more time, we're gonna hold it, guys. We hold it for four, three, two. Stay with me, all eyes on me. It's not 90 degrees, it's 45 degrees, right? 45 in the corners. And we tap, we lift. We tap, guys, from the center, please. And we have three, four. I know, beautiful, five. Lift it back up to 90 degrees above the floor, but they open only 45 degrees related to the shoulder and the hip. Two. And one. And we draw elbow to the knee all the way crease cross and we hold it from the center. We hold for eight, seven, six, five, tighter, four, three, two, take it back. Let's round the spine all the way. Everybody busy this Monday, not only us. <laughs> Let's take the left arm and right leg. Guys, it's important to pull the navel in, strong structure. Gaze over the extended arm and activate arms and legs as it's a one long line. In we go, we go 45 degrees out, arm and leg. It's two. Great. It's three. Very strong, precise movement. It's four. Point your toe, toes, please. Five. And six. And seven. And we hold it eight. Now, check your position on arms and legs. Like 90 degrees. And one is a continuation of another. Now, activate the kneecaps. And now, we tap. It's movement from the center. Arms and legs just moving. After the center of your body. Two. Three. Top four, keep it stable. Five and six and seven and eight. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Finish strong. Reach and connect, contract from the center. Even though those upper body, your your elbows, your bicep, tricep, and don't twist. Working right now, but you're holding it through the center of your body. We hold four. Three more, two more, take the hands back on the floor, pop and open, and take it back. So let's take it back up to the neutral position. We're gonna put our left foot slightly out. You're gonna find your wrist elbow shoulder stopped. You will take your arm all the way up, point your toes. What we're gonna do, we're gonna bring it 90 degrees guys and activate the entire body we're gonna go first for external circles we're gonna draw the circle up front of the body continue to draw it all the way behind meet back in the center we have eight of them do not hurry up precision and control from the go and let's go one two three four again one two three four control one two three four as wider as narrow as you can do it. One, two, three, four, left. Draw it, draw it, draw it. Keep on breathing from the center. Center, activate those knees on the right. And draw it to left. Out, out, in, last one. Out, 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 in, hold, guys. 
we ready to bring elbow to the knee for eight times. Let's do it together. And slow guys, touch, extend, and touch, extend. Don't fall forward, please. Touch, and extend all the way over, long arms, long legs, touch. That was four. We have four left. It's a clean touch on the knee with the elbow. Three, from the center, and two. And we have one more. One, we're gonna go for backward circle. Take that arm up, find stability, abs in, everybody strong, and we draw it from the back, down. Two, three, mid in the center, backward, down. Two, three, center, guys, backward. Use that hip, use that hip, in center, this is four. All the way, all the way, in center, this is five. You can do it, do it. Stop, we have three left. Come on, come on, come on, come on, finish strong. Two left, all the way, start the backwards. One left, all the way backwards. Reach, we have one more round of four elbow to the knee. Come on, come on, come on, back, 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 back on your knees. And one, clear touch, clear extension. Two, clear touch, clear extension. Three, beautiful four, guys. Four, you responsible for the four, come on, five. Six and seven and eight. Finish strong, not on the count, seven on count, eight. Take it back to the center. Be ready for our Ashtanga push ups. If you need to send both knees on the floor, you need to send both knees on the floor. Let's go do it. We have eight clean push ups. Seven, I'll go see it, guys. Don't hurry up. Six, freeze. Five, good job. Four, collarbones wide. Point your toes. Three, two, and one. Hold with me. Four, eight, seven, six. You can do it, guys. Five, four, elbows in. Breathe actively. Three, two, one. Come on, back. <laughs> Round five, relax your neck. All right, we're gonna move. Our right foot slightly backward, repeat the same on the other side. So you guys come and turn, face me, and I'm gonna just turn around here so you don't see my back. So right foot behind right now. Then we just do it the other side. The other side, guys. All right. So it's important that your hand is hand raised, elbow shoulders stuck, find a good position, arm up, we're gonna start with the circles, lift it nice and tall, nice and tall, arm up, we're gonna start front, in one, two, three, four, again, one, go in the toes, go in the toes, I see you all, we have three, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, five, three, two, keep the arms strong, down, out, out, control, and down, up, up, draw with quality guys, it doesn't have to be big, but last one, last one, last one, and arm up, we ready, elbow to the knee, from the center, let's go, one, stay tall, two, extend fully, three, extend the arm all the way above the hand, finish right, four, all the way extend, Five, all the way, extend please. Six, seven, breathe actively. In, in, excellent job. Arm above the shoulder. We're gonna go backwards, draw it backwards from the top. Down, back, control. Again, one, two, three. In, up, I know, come on guys. One, two, three. In, up, backwards, forward, backwards. Dip it, dip it, take it center, backwards. In center, I feel it now. Two, three, four. Again, backwards, backwards. Stay with me. One more. Come on, guys. Backwards, backwards. Take it up for the knee to elbow. Come on. Eight. Don't quit. Seven. Don't quit. Six. Finish strong. Five. Full extension on the arm. Six. Six. And seven. The way we're gonna take the left hand up. We ready for the eight push ups, guys. Left, left, above the ground. The one was lifted. In, go. 
eight, seven, six, five. Great work, guys. Four. Freeze the shoulder joints. Three. Two. Get ready to hold. Three and hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Round the spine, relax your time. Great work, everybody. Take it back. And take it back. From here, we're going to move to our plank series. So, how are you feeling? Hot, yet, it moves, yet, it's come. Alright, three elbow shoulders. Come on up with me to the plank. In your plank position, you can always send your knees on the floor to recover. And then come back with the full plank. It's really important to hold the body leveled. That's the tailbone slightly down. And we rock. Go rock slow. Four with control. Back. Three. Move back to the heel so you feel like heel is stretching. Front back. Take it forward. Great job. Take it back. Proud of you guys. Forward. When you shift the waist up, you should feel like heel is all the way. Send the heels over the floor. Take it forward. Take it back. Take it forward. Take it back. I'm proud of you to left. Forward. I kill it straight. Hold the tummy in. One. Take it back. Slowly, guys. Roll the heels on the left. Roll the heels on the left. And we hold it. Press both hands into the floor. We hold for eight. Seven. Both hands flat. Six. Five. Breathe actively. Four. Three. Two. Shift the heels on the right. All the way. Both hands flat. Four. Eight. Seven. Don't wait, please. Six. Five. Four. Active breathing. Three. Two. I know you can do it. And one. Just on the floor, guys. Shift the heels back. We're going to take the left underneath the right. Give it a good quality straight heel and sit bones are touching. Face on the right. Taking back through the center and thread the right underneath the left. Sit the sit bones on the heels with equality. Excellent. We go back to the plate right now. Come on up with me. We back to the plank. Mm -hmm. We're going to repeat absolutely two the same rounds, but the one is going to be on the regular plank, another going to be in the dolphin plank. So from the plank, we're all going to shift the weight back and extend to the quality down though. Then we move back into plank. We have 16 of those. Count starts right now. Let's go. In one. Both extended spine and neck. Try to set your heels on the floor and then move your hands. Three. Shoulder blades nice and wide. Four. Abdominal wall in, especially in the number face and go tuck the belly in. Five. Six. Full quality stretch of the back. Seven, guys. Eight. Give the dog the best chance to flourish. The best form you can only give it. Back. On your body, come on, back. We have only six left, guys, together. Six. Don't forget to drop the head when you relax. Five. Back to the plank fully, please. Four. Excellent. Three. Two. And one. Fantastic. Take it back. From here, we're gonna rock as we did. Take a look, guys. Together, we're gonna do, we're gonna rock, we're gonna reach, we're going to do four, three, two, one. We're gonna rock on the other side. So let's begin together from the right. We're gonna rock on the right. Let's go. One, reach, precision. One, two, three, four. Take it back to the plank, rock on the left. Together, rock. Let's go. One. Great job. Two, three, four, 
rock on the left from the center. Switch in one, two, three, guys. Four, proud of you. Rock on the right. Rock. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Take it back to the center. Shift to the downward facing move. And from here, we're going to reach to the side of the legs or towards the back. Once you reach, you push yourself a little bit more back. Then you return and then we switch. We start with the right. Let's go. In, push, stretch. Back. Activate one arm at a time. Push. Back. One arm at a time. Push. Back. Push. We have four. We have four. And back. Three. And back. Two. And back. Last one. And hover. We hover for eight. Seven. Six. Five. You can do it, guys. Four. Shoulder blade twice. Don't shake. Don't shake. Don't shake. Three. Don't shake. And take a look, guys. We're going to tap only out. So then squeeze the toe straight out. Out. Take it back. Out. Take it back. Three. Four. You can also take your knees on the floor. Five. With me, guys. Six. And seven. Stay strong. And eight. Knees on the floor. Heels. Seat bones. Arms all the way forward. Right. We're going to repeat exactly the same flow in the dolphin plunge. In the dolphin plunge. Give it a breath or two. Come on up with me. So leave your arms on the floor. Remember, you can go up here. It's an easier version of it. Try to keep the arms parallel. Come on. So dolphin, choose a plank, guys. Take a look. We start in the plank. We hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, guys. Three, you can do it. Two, no downward facing dogs. It's a plank still. And wrap your heels on the left. We hold it for eight, seven, on the outer plate, plate, the left foot. Six, five, don't think the hips. Four, three, two, rock it on the right. We hold for eight, seven. You got it, you got it. Hold it, guys, hold it. Massaging that digestive system, letting the toxins out. Come on, come on, breathe, 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 breathe. Come back. Dolphin to a plank. Dolphin to a plank. Let's go. Leave. Back to the plank. Leave. Back to the plank. Leave. Back to the plank. Four. Back to the plank. I see you all guys. Five. Let's do it together. Back to the plank. Six. Back to the plank. Seven. We have only eight from here to go. We have eight. Seven guys. Six. Elbows and hands parallel to each other. Five. Four. Work your body fully. Upper arms as well. Three. Two. I'm proud of you. Knees on the floor, guys. We're going to come up in the dolphin position arms. And from here, left underneath the right. This time, tailbone above and between the knees. Full puppy pose with one arm. Excellent. Come back to the center. Switch, guys. Tailbone in between the knees. Left. That was right under me. Come on back up. We're going back to the dolphin plank. Remember our rocks on the side and left pull up on the side. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna rock our heels on the left right now. Let's go. On the position, where are you? Don't lose the cart right in. Rock. Reach. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Drop to the center of the goal. Big plank. All the way. Hot by stability. One, two. Extended arm. Broken. Three, three, four. We have only two. One on each side. Drop on the left. Let's go together. One, two. Quality like extension. Three, four. Rock on the right. Go, guys. Together. One, two, three, four, all the way back. Now, your right arm up front of the left. Right arm up front of the left. Keep on breathing. We have four, three, 
is up and hold. Close your eyes. Push the heart forward. Press the hands into the ground. Excellent job. That takes us to the next exercise. We're going to find the cushion like a pillow for the forehead. If you find it's a little bit tough for your forehead, find other position. Maybe you have some soft, some soft padding. So what we're gonna do from here? We're gonna set our feet nice and wide. We're gonna do scissors on the front position to strengthen it up our back and our legs. It's gonna look like that. I'm gonna put my forehead and I'm going to scissor it up here. It's gonna be eight each count. We're gonna do eight. Then we're gonna rest and lift ourselves, grab the ankles in the ball pose, if not, somewhere, somewhere half. Okay, hands on the forehead, on the hands, activate your back, do your best, I count for you, lift the legs, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, as wide as you can, six, seven, eight, hold the feet, bend the ankles, bend the knees, Grab the ankles, we hold for eight, seven, six, and do it breathe actively, guys. Five, four, three, and we have only two rounds like that. Go into your toes, find the cushion for the forehead, go into your toes, please. Go, one, two, five, three, open wide, four, five, six, seven, eight, Grab your ankles. We hold for eight, seven, six, five, four. Good job, everyone. Last one round, you can do it. Find the cushion, go into your toes. Nice and wide scissors. Go one, two, three, crisscross. Four, five, open. Six, seven, eight. Find yourself with the bow. Great work, great work, great work. Almost there. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Take the knees together, take them back, move on the left. Elbow and shoulder stuffed. So from here, you're gonna lift your top left and you're gonna kick as far as you can to the front using the center. Try not to drop the foot down. Go still on the floor, flex. You kick it as far back as you can. We're gonna do the eight kicks. Then we do the one like it go. Close on the side. Let's go do it. Support yourself and point. Point. All the way. Flex back. Activate the leg. Point. Flex back. Point. Use the center. Flex back. Four. Flex back. Hold the leg for a little bit more. Point. Flex back, give me the range of motion, point. Flex, we have to, point. Flex, point. Flex, hold it right there. Grab your ankle, single leg, go pose. We hold for eight, seven. Hold the ankle away from the glute, six, five. Activate the back, lengthen in the back, three, two, one. Go ahead, guys, and take the foot. All the way up front. Go all the way up front. Take your hand up. Raise elbow shoulder. You're going to be using active core. You're going to be lifting to the side plank from here. If you can't do it, you can go on your forearm and just gently lift. Kind of look simply like this. And take it back. Stop your wrist, elbow shoulder. Get on the position. Ready? Set. Go. 16, 15, 14, look at you guys, up, great job, up, I will tell you when we halfway through, and up, it's the center, up, and we halfway through, 8 left, and 7, long line from the body guys, 6, 5, stay stable, 4, you can do it, 3, and now super easy, 
zero practice coming up. Coming up, 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 up. Hold it, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Both hands parallel to each other. Both hands parallel to each other. Okay, I'm ready for you. Take it back. Right, left. Up above the floor. Left arm. We hold only for eight. Seven, give your best. Six. Look at that, those four strings, guys. I'm so proud of you. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Breathe actively, don't hold the breath. Three, two, one. We're gonna roll on the right side, on the side. I'm gonna roll this way so you can see. That was beautiful. That was great. I remember the years when nobody could do two point play. Okay, elbow raise, shoulder, guys. Try to stay in the long line if you feel like you're rocking back and forth. Right?
and we have three. Come on, guys. Up. Two. Three. Flex. Make sure you don't cut the short angle. It's the smooth. 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 All the way. Five. Six. Seven. All the way. One more. Up. Two. Three. All the way. Five. Six. Coming up with me. Continue to move. Seven. Eight. Feet 90 degrees. Keep up the floor. Just up and lift it. If you would have to support your butt just like that, you're going to support. If not, you take the arms. You're going to go for a single leg sweep. Take a look. My knees are looking inner side of the knees. You trust me, try to extend the knees all the way through. Eight, one, four, four, four. If your knees not extending all the way through, what does it tell you? You need to work more on the quadriceps stretch. And that's what we always do. And point. And breathe. And point. And breathe. Full extension. And point. And breathe to left. Point. Breathe. But left. Point. Breathe. Next exercise. Make sure that you have some space behind to hold. Today we did our hard um, open leg rockers and we did our easy roll as a roll. Today we combine roll as a roll back, come back as a open rocker. Just like this. Roll, come back as an open rocker. Yay! Okay. We're gonna work on the strings. It might hit or miss, but that's okay. I want you to feel the center. What muscles do you have to engage the most? Ready? That's the biggest Seven. Six. Oh my God. 
today to take the blue guys. We did that crop. That crop was really challenging. So we're gonna take the right angle. You did great, it was challenging. That uh, boomerang exercise is really advanced, but I think all of you did fantastic. And we did it before in the gym, I think. A couple of times just to try it, please. Quality, forward, pull, all the way. 
bring your forehead on top on your shins, knees, or have your position hovering above the legs, but try not to roll the shoulders down. It's a half extended back. Very nice. Take it a halfway lift only and send your hands just to the right foot. Lengthen it a little bit more and push against the foot if you can reach it or grab your strap. Lengthen it.
Jolly Cool Rides of Love. Slowly, 
Arabic. Halfway through. Take your right hand in the center. Bend your right knee. Open up. Do the same thing from the left. All the way up and open. Do the same thing from the right. And this time, we're going to go with half and bind. Mm -hmm. Bend your right knee. You got it. Now, squat deeper. Squat deeper on that right. See if you can sit in Malasana squat. We're going to be working here between standing position and a squat. So we can open that beautiful. Good job, guys. Use the straps coming up. Extend. Forward fold fully if you can. Take it back to the squat. We have four left. All the way back to the Malasana squat with the bind. We have three. Try to extend your right knee fully. Oh, of course, if you can use the strap. We have two. We have bandas. Excellent. Now we're going to transfer some weight on the right leg. Tap the left out. Tap the left out. See how well? You can balance on this right. Balance for a few times. For a few times. Squat back and rest. Squat back and rest. You can do it. Squat back and rest. I know it doesn't feel like a much rest, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna be ready to get up and lift the left leg of the floor. Right. 
take a look, guys. We're going to be squatting and practicing to get that right next door. We're going to go slowly, hop, try not to slam the feet, use the strings of the right. Breathe actively. And all the way up. Breathe actively, hop a couple more times. All the way up. Right left. Once you're ready, come on up and pull. We give it our best. We give it our best. It's not going to happen if you don't practice it. We give it our best one more time. Take it out. Michael, great. That's a good work. The tail is a little bit, uh, still needs some work, but that was great. Okay, guys. Reach all the way up. It was challenging. You go all the way forward, pull. Look halfway through. Bend those knees, step forward, hop. Push down, chaturanga. Come on up. Downward face and Relax the neck, grab the hat. Take your right leg up and over and look underneath the right. Draw that right knee all the way towards the left elbow. Take it back up, look underneath the right. Draw it back to the left elbow. Take it back up, look underneath the right. Draw it back to the left elbow and now extend to the full wild thing for a halfway through. Open up your body. Take it back all the way to the center. Meet me in the plank. Push down Chaturanga. Come on up. Full quality dumper face and up. Take your left leg up and open. Look underneath the left. Take the left knee. Go with the right elbow. Take it back up. Look underneath the left. Take it to the right elbow. Take it all the way up, look underneath. Take it all the way outside to the wild thing or halfway expression. Meet me in the flank. Let's go, Chaturanga Dandasana. All the way, coming up. Downward facing up. We have some balance in the downward facing up today again. So we uh, refine what we learned last week. So let's go ahead and take the right foot off the ground or slide top up here, just like this. Take your left hand outside. And that could be it. You might not go and move farther than that. If you do, then the right, the right leg up and then the left is going to try to catch up on the right ankle. We just do what we can. We keep on developing the balance, stability, and awareness in the body. Breathe actively, guys. Keep on breathing. Once you grab the ankle, continue to refine on your downward facing dog. Let me see you practicing. Once you catch the angle, try to pull, feel the angle of the hip. Great job. Come back, guys. Come back. I saw it. It was really good. It's very challenging. Take your time to catch up on the angle and then start to feel the angle off, right? Let's take that left foot on the floor. Right, right hand out. If you're ready, go ahead and lift the left leg. Take your time. It doesn't have to happen today. Just work on it. Bend your left knee and catch up. You want to keep the rounded spine. I can do it almost instantly if I crook it my form. Try to hold that quality downward facing the long extension in the spine. Stability in the arms and legs. 
once you get up on the ankle, keep taking the ankle off the hip. Watch the back alignment. Breathe actively to take your time. We just practice it. Keep on breathing, guys. Push that left hand into the mat, the mat. Let's slowly release it back. It was wonderful. Bend your knees. Shift the heels back. Hips back. Child pose. Today we practice in a classroom, a form of classroom. We're going to go for a minute mass in the split. So come on up with me and take your right leg up and over. We did a lot of hip circles during the Pilates. We strengthen it, the legs of the balance with the bird of paradise and open it right there. So, a classroom is uh, when the knee slightly behind the ankle, not normal forward line position. So, it doesn't have to be too far, just a little bit farther than the ankle. Bend your back knee, use the fist on the floor if you have to. And we're just gonna give it some time. So let your hips to open. We're not gonna go to the split right away. We're first gonna do a pedestrian on the other side, and then we will turn here. So if you need again to support yourself on the floor, do it. It's much better than to hold the leg because that's your open leg, right? You're not gonna be able to relax. So do the floor, do the blocks. And we're just holding it. We're going to crisscross in the knees. Open, 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 exhale. Okay, and just a few more breaths, guys. A few more breaths. Try to breathe and don't think about time. And just let the gravity take its own turn. Slowly, shift the point back. Just working on it 
I think we have to work on it every day, so, so it gets better. Keep on breathing. Feel more press, guys. Feel more press. Try to sit up nice and tall. Let's go in. Take it back. Take your time. Step back with the left. You can stay in your equestrian as long as you need. You don't have to do the split. We just practice it. Now we get in there step by step.
Yes. She's human. Yes. Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? Hold the balance. All right. Let's take it back. Great job, guys. All right. We're going to finalize our practice with our floating camel. See if you can do floating camel. Here it comes. Okay, let's take the hands underneath. Remember, soles up on top, four fingers under. The next thing you extend, you extend your arms. The next thing you lift the knees of the ground. And the next thing you lift, start to lift the hips of the feet, activating the arms in quadricep. It takes some time. But it's getting better each and every time. Let's move forward. Let's go ahead and take our knees wide and big toes together. Go forward, drive in between. and close your eyes. And let's slowly move over the right and take the right, take the left, on top on the right. Switch, walk over the left and take your right inside the left. Take And let's slowly return back to the center. We're going to do the half lotus and leap forward if you practice in that and then to the other side and that's going to be the final the final of our practice so if you don't do any lotus then right up front of the left if you go for the halfway then you put the right on top and if you do the full one then you put the left on top We're going to take hands together. And you can just remain up here or you can come up. Wait before you press. Crack, don't do it, please. Yeah, it just takes a little bit. You do it once you have at least a half lotus, it's gonna help you to open. Ooh, but um, yeah, again, external hip rotation. Just a few breaths here. Hurts. And let's go ahead and take it back. We're going to undo the legs. Give them some pad if you have to. Then we're gonna take the left up front over the right. Some days are better, some days are less for the hips. Again, it's really important to understand that it comes from the hip rotation, a lot of that, not everything. The ankles shouldn't hurt, right? If your ankles are on fire and hurting you, it's a little bit too much. And let's take that hands together. And then if you do do flip, go ahead for the flip. Mm -hmm. 
one step at a time. And let's take it back. Undo the legs. Just keep them some. Ready? Let's extend the legs and make sure that the knees are rested. Let's take the both feet. Crease cross, close your eyes, and let's reach all the way up. Let's look inside our heart and draw everything we want to draw. Let's be grateful for what we have, not what we don't have yet, and what this body can do for us, not what it can do yet. And let's open our heart for more, for more learning, love, passion, commitment, kindness, towards ourselves, of course, and towards others. Smile with that precious heart and close for the rest of your day with unshakable, truth, peace, serenity, and love inside. Namaste. Namaste. Great job, guys. Very good. Very good. Oh, <laughs> super good.